Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name's Anarak, you can call me Zed, and as you can see, we are back in Pokemon Black. So, oh, I just opened this just because I thought uh, it would probably be a good idea. I did not realize there was an actual item here. Hold on just a moment, let me grab this. Now that we have this, uh, welcome back to another video. As I said before, I'm Anarak, you can call me Zed, and we're in Pokemon Black and White. Uh, last episode, we managed to defeat uh, Skyla's gem, and we're about to head up to Twist Mountain. But first, uh, we have to fight Sharon. Sharon? Whatever his name is. Rachel. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hopefully his team isn't too bad. I mean, he does only have four Pokemon. And one of them is Ninjask, so his team really should not be too bad. Uh, luckily, we're, we have Unfezant. Unfezant. Jetvac. And he uses Sword Stance. That's kind of very scary, actually. Uh, however, super effective Stab Air Slash. That crit! Let's go! That was kind of... Man, that was actually very funny. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch out to Doctor here in order to, uh, you know, deal some massive electric damage to Blastoise. Uh, you know, this, this... This should be pretty good, you know? We get Stab super effective move. Uh, okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and start with Shockwave. Oh, use Protect. Oh, how, how cool. You're so cool. He gets the double Protect. Hello? If you get the triple, I swear. <laughs> Alright, well, Shockwave goes out, does damage. How much damage? Oh, quite a bit. Not enough, though. Gets healed with the Citrus Berry, and uses Aqua Tail. Which does quite a bit. I'm gonna check something here. Hold on. Um, summary. Special attack is 83, and attack... Okay. Um, okay, that's dependent on how fast I am. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm gonna do something very stupid. So my speed is 87. What's the, what's the average Blastoise speed at, uh, this? Hold on, I'm using Pokemon Showdown's, uh, damage calculator solely just so I can get an accurate read of Blastoise speed. This is gonna be insane. Uh, it's level 33. So, uh, with max IVs it should be 66, with minimum 56. So, I think, I think we can do some pretty good damage with Electro Ball here. Nice. Good damage, good damage. Alright, and Doctor even levels up from that. Lovely, lovely. Uh, next out is Meganium, and we're gonna switch again. Uh, grass type Pokemon up against our Poison Bug. Just saying, probably gonna get some massive damage. Alright. Meganium comes on out. Hi there. Uh, let's go for Poison Tail. Mm-hmm. Good damage. Sweet Scent comes along. Lowers our evasiveness. Citrus Berry. No, Leftovers. Great. Poison Tail again. Ooh, super effective. Let's go. I mean, I already knew that. It's Poison versus a Grass type, so... Alright, uh, we have an Ursa Ring coming on out next, so let's go ahead and swap into Frogger. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna go ahead and hit Revenge. Alright, Revenge hits. Should deal with some good damage. Yep. Uh, let's go for Sucker Punch. Nice, there we go. <clears throat> Alright. Frogger levels up. We could learn Venishock. Ooh, this is difficult. Ooh, okay, so... Gonna get rid of... No. 
No, I'm not going to not going to teach Venishok. Not for now. Keep old moves, give up. Alright. Hey, uh, will you heal? Oh, I heard Alder. Hi there, bud. How are you doing, man? I just get through this, yep. Is this where we get Surf? This is where we get Surf. Okay, guys. Listen, this is gonna go insane. Uh, today, a lot of things are unlocked. So, we have a handful of options. Uh, our first one is the most obvious. And that is, you know... Hold on, just need to check. Okay, they haven't been healed. The first is more obvious, and that's just continue the main story. The second is more fun. I did not mean to do that. The second is more fun, and it's uh, explore water routes. I personally think uh, the water routes are going to be fun, so we should go. Don't like that it's hailing right now. Let's go ahead and skip. Not skip, run away. Just go ahead like this. There we go. Get out of there. Are you the place that heals? Yes, you are. Hi. Bing, 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 bing. Alrighty. Yep, so now we run this way. And I should probably, honestly, pull up a map of all of Unova's routes. Uh, Unova water routes. Uh, that's not very... Hmm. So, obviously, we have Route 17. Oh, wait! Duh! I can just look on the little tracker thing. I can scroll up from the very top and see if we can find stuff. Uh, we don't have a fishing rod, and we get that at the end of the game, so that won't help for some places, but it can help. Let's see. Uh, where's a good place? Just looking through really quick. Driftvale? Probably not. Stralton Cave. Don't think so. No. Twist Mountain. Mm. Hold on. There are quite a bit of places. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, just going to go ahead and head through here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to have a Pokemon who's just used for HMs. So just going to heal here. Why did I heal? We didn't encounter anything. I don't know. I don't think sometimes. And we're going to head over here into our PC. Um, we're going to deposit a singular Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and say Babu, probably. Gonna stop Baka operations, uh, move Pokemon around, and by this so I'm gonna put Babu over here. Uh, move Stanley up, and then we're going to uh, kind of halfway desecrate the corpses of our fallen comrades. And by comrades, I mean... Actually, hmm. Should I only use a Pokemon we already have? Hmm. Also, I can't remember. Did I make it so HMs have full compatibility or not? I'm actually gonna have to check that. Hold on just a moment and I'll get back to you. Okay, so just double-checked. TMs and HMs were given full compatibility. So what I think I'm going to do... And this may be a bit controversial. I'm going to catch a new Pokemon. However, uh, this Pokemon is going to only be used for HMs. They are only going to know HMs. And they are not going to be, you know, used any other time. If I could, I would put them at minimum level. So I guess we're having a Gotharita as our uh, HM carrier, I guess. Okay. Yep, hi there. Oh, great, now I have to actually use the catch calculator, see if I can catch this. Ugh. Hate this. Alright, well, let's see. 
Gotharita, level 24. It's at 100% HP right now. Ultra Ball is 36% chance. We could do something very funny. We could do something very funny. Let's not. Not yet, at least. Uh, I'm gonna swap back over to the damage calculator. Just gonna do some very quick calculations, and uh, I'll get back to you in just a moment. Alright, so after looking, Quick Attack and Air Slash should both do, uh, you know, roughly the same amount of damage, and they should be two hit KOs. So, gonna go ahead, and now that I have that calculated, gonna say Gothrida has roughly 45% of HP remaining. That looks around right, probably a little less, and we have about a 63% chance of catching it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and try with the Ultra Ball, and if it fails all four times, then we can just use the Master Ball as our HM. I think that's very silly. Oh man, almost. We were close. Oh well. I'm going to go ahead with another Ultra Ball. And let's see here. Pretty, pretty please. And we got it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, just gonna call him HM. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and I get that, you know, technically this is a catch outside of the, uh, you know, normal encounters. But considering I'm not going to use him for anything other than HMs, I think it's perfectly fine. So, these are the HMs we have right now. So he's going to have Cut, Fly, Surf, and Strength. So, now when we go check our Pokemon and head to HM, Cut, Fly, Surf, and Strength. Perfect. Uh, thinking of Cut, Fly, Surf, and Strength, did I ever tell uh, you guys about how awfully I messed up my uh, Pokemon's movesets back when I was a kid? Because uh, I think you guys would find it very funny to hear that uh, as a kid, I gave my Samurott Cut, Surf, Waterfall, and was there something else? I want to say there was something else. There might not have been, I can't remember. And I gave my Reshiram... My Reshiram. Fly and Strength. I'm not the brightest. Now, we want to stay in the water here. I think this is still technically Route 1 right now. Not expecting a Roserade. Alright, interesting. Not gonna catch it just in case it uh, is a Route 1, but, you know. I move one tile forward. I look up, move one tile forward, and another Pokemon. A Natu. Very silly. Level 6. Just a little guy. Just a lad. Alright. You defeat him. Another. Another. What? I... Am I just extremely unlucky? Are, sur are Surf Tiles more likely to have Pokemon? Either way. Just going to avoid her. And we still haven't gotten a notification that this is a new uh, route. However, the fact that these are level 30 is, uh... Kind of implies to me they might be, you know, kind of strong, actually. And if this does count as a uh, new route and I didn't realize, I'm not counting that. Okay? If, if, I, if it's something I genuinely did not realize, yep, no, this is still Route 1. Still can't catch Pokemon here. However, if I move over here... Route 17, baby! So, I'm gonna open up the Nuzlocke Tracker again. Scroll down... Very, pretty far, actually, to Route 17, and we'll get to see what we get. Let me go ahead and put this up. Hmm. 
Oh man, love surfing one tile. Ooh, there's another item. We got Worry Seed. Nice. Probably aren't going to use it, ever. Ah, uh, that's on the other side. Oh well. Just going to surf. And what's our encounter for Route 17, huh? An Electrode. Okay. Um, hold on. I need to double check. Level 6. But level 6. Alright. Um, hold on just a moment. I, I wanted to just double check that, you know, doesn't have explosion, but, uh, let's see what moves it could learn. Charge. Sonic Boom. Spark. Tackle. Tackle again. I'm pretty sure we're good. Because, let's see. Uh, it learned self-destruct at 35. So, if it were properly leveled to around the Pokémon I have, that would, you know, definitely be a worry. But an Electrode at level 6? Uh, okay. Let me just go ahead. Just double-checking. What are my chances of actually catching it? Probably very high. Oh! 25% chance of catching it in an Ultra Ball. Like, I can't really attack it. Okay. Even if it were exactly 1 HP, it would be a 56% chance. Hold on, now this is... Hmm. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and use our last Ultra Ball. Broke out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh... Let's see. Oh, I accidentally reset the uh, catch calculator. Oh well. I'm just going to try and use a Pokeball now. This should be a 15% chance. I remember that. I saw that. Oh, come on. Alright, well. What are we naming you? Because uh, whatever it is, it's not going to be like a great, awesome name, you know? has to be something that represents just how annoying you are. Uh, whew, this is very, very difficult. What's something really, really annoying in games? Because I am trying to keep a lot of my Pokemon game-related. Oh, that's something. Uh, something that annoys me quite a lot whenever I end up playing TF2. Uh, bot. This is just bot. And he was accidentally transferred to the graveyard. Okay, that's kind of funny. Let me just uh, wait for you. There we go. Now, which of these do we want to take, guys? Let's go here. Alright. Hmm, Alright. Gosh darn it, I did not want to encounter another Pokemon. Oh, you're telling me I could have gotten a Golette? You're telling me I could have gotten a Golette. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh. Huh. Jumped over a guy. Alright, well. Let's at least go ahead and get this Pokeball. An Electri- An Electri-Riser. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Surf. And go on this path. And I'm gonna do a ho -oh. I could have gotten a ho -oh. And I'm doing great. I'm doing great, guys. Um. All right. Well, let me just. 
try and dodge people. Ah! Oh, little guy. A hippopotas. So why are all the Pokemon in the water such a low level, whereas the Pokemon on land are higher level? You need Surf to get here. And you only get Surf when your Pokemon are around level 35. So why are the Pokemon in the water like level 6? Now what's here? I know there's something here. Don't remember much. Uh, nice. Heal. Isn't very useful. Uh, yep. <gasps> An egg? Hold on. We get egg. Wait, huh? What? Okay. Wait, what does it say? Did you find something cool? What does he want? I don't remember. Who knows? Um. Let me see. What would he like? What do, what do he. Do, does he think a macho brace is cool? I don't know. Relic gold. Nope, no good. You don't want an ancient gold piece? Okay. Uh, and you know, egg encounters I always count as separate from uh, otherwise, like every other encounter. Oh, heck yeah! We get HM to use strength now. I forgot. We can do that. Oh my god, guys. A whole new world available to us? We get the grass gem. Let's go. And we go through more Vogelon. Okay. Ah, a layer on. Why am I seeing so many cool Pokemon that I could have caught instead? Like, come on. I had to catch... A level, like, 8 Electrode. This, the, I, I literally only got a Grass Gem. Okay! Okay! Could've gotten Ho-Oh, could've gotten Mewtwo. I see how it is. I had to get the level 8 Electrode. He's worse than bots. Come on, you had turned away. Man. Slow King, very fun. For a moment, I, like, just for a brief moment, my brain thought, Poison Psychic. And no, that's, that's like a Larian one. Just gonna go ahead and use Air Slash, see how much, not a lot, okay. Headbutt Crit does that much. Okay, let's go one more. That, you know, hope headbutt doesn't crit again. Ooh, you flinched. Nice. Mm-hmm, you headbutt again. And this is where I roost. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Zen headbutt, interesting. Definitely a lot more damage. Uh, but consider the following. Almost. Water Pulse comes out. Not very good, because it does have Stab. Okay. And we Quick Attack to end it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go heal. Alrighty. And we go forward now. Let's see, is there something I can get there? No, unfortunate. Just trying to figure out roughly where that hidden item is. Don't know. Oh well. So if we now move up here, we can put this boulder again. Yep. And if we head down here... There's an item to get, but I have to fight this guy. Okay, well... Ooh, probably should not have our... Oh, no, they aren't injured. I healed. I forgot that I healed. You have a Samurott? Oh, come on, man. Seriously? I was really wanting a Samurott. Favorite starter evolution, by far. Don't get me wrong, Hisui and Samurott, insanely good, but, uh... Let's go ahead and just see what they have. Fury Cutter. Alright, I think I can take a Fury Cutter. Let's go ahead and Air Slash. Hope for the flinch, obviously. 
Ooh, you water pulse. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay. 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 I'm gonna go ahead and swap into Frogger here. So, you know, Frogger, please take a water pulse. Pretty, pretty, please. Ooh, an Aqua Jet. Good. Alright, and what we're going to do here is we're going to... Let's go for a Mud Bomb first. Aqua Jet again. You did not learn your lesson. Okay, lower your accuracy. And hit Revenge. You go for Fury Cutter. Shouldn't deal a lot. Yep, but Revenge will deal extra damage because I've already been hit. Lovely. And then the Shell Bell heals me. Great, and Jetback levels up in the back. Nice. Let me collect this. A Pass Orb. Not useful at all. And what's in this rock? A big mushroom. Alright, well. Not super interesting there. And what's over here? Not much. Hmm. Uh, there has to be something across here, right? No. Aw, the silly, the shroomish, the illy, the guy. I like saying things, it's fun. I didn't heal? Oh wait, no, I did heal. I just, I just got injured in that last fight. Hold on. Let me just move along here. There we go. What's over this way, huh? Mm. Gotta surf. I am gonna go ahead and swap Pokemon around, though. Let's go ahead and swap Frogger up front. Alright, let's see. I did not pay attention. Did the title change? I couldn't tell. Go let. Because I know this is a Pokemon we encountered on Route 17. Not counting that. Hold on. Let's see. Does this change? Something changed, right? Hold on. I have to at least see what this is, you know? It's a requirement. Alright, what fun water guy? The rufflet, the guy, the silly. Oh well. He's not a shiny, so I can't catch him. I, I swear I thought I saw something with the title changing, right? Am I just going insane? He's a blissey. Um, I'm gonna run. A am I just hallucinating? Did I make things up? Another Blissey. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm just trying to explore. Oh well, let's see. Where am I going? Where am I? Where is this? Scientist? Yo! An EXP share! Um, there really isn't much in here, is there? <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Let's talk to you. Hi there. Why is there just weird music for him specifically? What? Alright. Scientist Tristian with his Charizard. That's great. Up against my fighting type. Alright, uh... With dry skin, might I add. Let's swap into Soldier. Uh, Soldier could probably take a flying or fire type move pretty well. Ooh, right, X attacks. I forgot that's how scientists work. Alright, let's start with Octazooka. 
right. Kaboom. Ooh, massive damage. Um, let's go Octazooka again. Firefang. Uh, awful. We did not get burned though, so, you know, small mercies. Jarzard faints. Alright. Okay, a Drapion. You know what? I have an idea. Uh, I'm just going to collect this next item, fly to a Pokemon Center, put someone up, grab the egg, ooh, we get Fury Attack, and then we're just going to uh, use the bike, which we haven't actually used at all yet, and just bike back and forth. Now let's see. This, where is this? The P2 Laboratory. Oh! Gene Plasma Secret Lab, okay. Let's just go to Accumula Town here. So we're gonna heal really quick. Alright. And now, I'm gonna go in here. And we're just gonna hit move Pokemon. Because you aren't dead yet. So, I'm gonna set you there and also take your item. And then, I'm gonna stop and head to our party Pokemon. And. Hmm. We're going to take... We're going to take uh, Sandro out of here, and we're going to put him with Babu, just so we can grab the egg. Sweet. Uh, you know, eggs I always count separate, so I'm in fact going to open this up. Uh, P2 Laboratory is its own space. You're telling me I could have caught the Pokemon there. Well, because I didn't know, I'm not counting it until, you know, I go back there. But, I'm gonna go ahead, add location, call it egg, and I'm gonna put it after Route 17 on the tracker, and then click on egg. There we go. That way, once we get there, it's already ready. Uh, we go ahead and fly, and because I already know I'm getting an egg, I'm going to go ahead and set status as, uh, received, actually. Let me actually get this to received. There we go. But since I don't know what it is, I can't actually mark it yet. Wait. Route 18. Is Route 18 the area with the land, and Route 17 the water? Because if so, it's really messed up that it never told me that. I'm not sure if that's true or not, or if I'm just making things up. First step. Although, to be fair, I did forget to do something just now. In fact, I'm going to very quickly uh, do it immediately after this battle, and you guys won't even know uh, how long it took. Alright, and I'm back. I forgot to buy more Ultra Balls, so I just went and bought 20 brand new Ultra Balls for us. And now, we can just go ahead and move forward. Or not. Thank you, Route 1 Rosalade. Rosarade. Why did I say Rosalade? Lemonade woman. Anyway, uh, I'm just saying things at this point. Kinda tired, even though it's literally just the middle of the day. The evil level 32 Voltorb. No, but seriously, why do we get like level 30s over here, but then in the water, the next route over, it's level like 8? What, what is that about? Genuinely. I'm sorry, but it's making me mad. Why do we get like, you know, level 32, 33, and then our level 8 electrode? No, not even level 8. Was it level 6? It was level 6. 
What? The Rotom. Man. Oh well. Not getting Rotom today. So let's just go in here. And we're in the next route. Ah! Please, no. Yeah, seriously, why level 9? What is up with that? Genuinely. It's weird. Either way. We're over at the island now, so hopefully things go pretty good in just a moment. Yeah, come on. Ah. First tile I step in here. A war turtle. Hmm. Well, I already defeated the Blastoise today, so probably not a problem. No, but seriously, why are levels 31 here? What what is up with this? Should probably actually check the town map. Because at this point it's getting really annoying. What? Huh? This is Route 18?! You know, I've encountered so many Pokémon here and it's never told me it's Route 18. Do... I'm not going to catch anything this time. But... We are wrapping up towards the end of the video, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to just get this egg. Nice, we got an egg. And we're going to hatch the egg, we're going to find out what it is. And then you guys get to tell me whether or not uh, I should be able to catch a Pokemon here next time. I'm fine either way. Uh, I definitely like a Pokemon, but uh, oh well. If I don't get it, I don't get it. So I'm just going to, let's see, just going to go back and forth like this and uh, just hope the egg hatches soon. Uh, this is going to be very quick for you guys, but maybe not for me. We don't know yet. The first patch of grass I accidentally run into. It's an Espeon! And you know what, since this is the one route where we aren't sure if I can catch anything or not, and I'm just running away from everything for now, uh, I'll even let you guys decide which Pokémon we get from the route. You know? So if you want me to get that Espeon, I'll get an Espeon. Great. If you want me to get one of the many other Pokémon we've encountered here, like a Wartortle, great, I'll get the Wartortle. It's up to you guys to decide, because honestly, I can't be bothered at this point. Either way, I'm going to speed this up for you, and we'll see what hatches from the egg. So guys, I've been biking here for a bit, and uh, the egg is still not close to hatching. So, starting to think it might have a rarer Pokemon in it. And I'm going to be, uh, you know, going to Route 3 in order to have a long stretch of area that I can just bike back and forth on. So, I mean, technically we could probably also do Sky Arrow Bridge, but, you know, I've decided not to. So... If we go over here, this is Route 3. There's a Wellspring Cave, so we can just go to Striation City. Very fun. And what we're going to do, uh, not, hold on, did not mean to do that. What we're going to do while we're here... Nope. We are going to register the bike. Wait, hold on. Question. Oh my god. What? I didn't know I could do that. Okay, I never knew I could register multiple things at once. That's cool. Alright, well, 
long stretch of area to drive back and forth in. I'll get back to you guys once the egg is actually hatched. Alright guys, just popping back in to say really quickly, I just checked the egg and it says it will hatch soon. Has not hatched yet though. So hopefully just a few more bike sessions back and forth will help the egg hatch. Uh, in the unrandomized game, it's a Larvesta, but uh, we just got the O, so let's see uh, what exactly we have got. Let me just reopen my Nuzlocke tracker. Kind of closed it because I wasn't really, you know, focused on the game a whole bunch. I'm also wondering if uh, this egg has a higher chance to be shiny. I know some of the eggs in previous generations had a higher chance to be shiny. I don't think this one does, but it would be cool. That explains why the egg took so long. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, we definitely got something uh, worth our time. That is very surprising. Uh, this is going to be difficult. What are we going to name Hydra again? Uh, okay, so we could go something obvious with, you know, like, the Hydra or Dragon theming. But uh, what's a good- w we're gonna call him Spyro. I'm sorry, I just immediately thought of him. I d so it's Spyro. And I do wonder, does Spyro have any egg moves? Like, this is a genuine question. I'm not sure if the egg you normally get ends up having an egg move. Let's go to summary here. Try attack, dragon rage, focus energy, and bite. Honestly, looking pretty good. I am going to pull up a uh, IV calculator just because I think it's very fun and silly. Okay, we're going to put in Hydreigon in Gen 5. Uh, nature is gentle. Let's see, hold on just a moment. Gentle. Characteristic. Very finicky. Uh, hidden power type, unknown. Uh, I would input Eevees, except we don't have any because he's literally just hatched. HP, 12. Attack, 7. Defense, 6. Special attack, 7. Special defense, 6. Speed, 7. Lots of 6 and 7s, I can tell. So HP is anywhere from 0 to 15. Attack anywhere from 0 to 29. Defense, 20 to 29. Special attack is very weird. It can either be 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, or 29. Uh, special defense, 0 to 19. And speed, 4 to 29. So, uh, now to check something very, very fun. I... I I need to actually keep it on Spyro here, thank you very much. I don't know why I did that. Let's go to Hydreigon. And go down on here to move sets, Gen 5. Okay, so. Uh, bite, Dragon Rage, Focus Energy, Try Attack. So he has all the basic ones, okay. When focus energy, bite, are learned again, his next move will be at level 12 with headbutt. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and level him up properly to everyone else's level now. But that'll be all for today. Uh, so, we're going to get to see him level up properly. Uh, probably to level 36, I think. And then we can actually check his uh, IVs again. This is going to take a while, though. Ooh, headbutt. Let's see. What's he going to do? He's going to forget focus energy. I don't care about focus energy. Ha 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 ha. 13, 14. Yeah, this is definitely going to take quite a while. Uh, wants to learn Dragon Breath. Uh, Dragon Rage is 40 damage versus Dragon Breath. I'm gonna swap out Dragon Rage with Dragon Breath, you know. 
I think it's definitely more youthful. 18, 19, 20. And he wants to learn Roar. Um, that forces a switch, right? Yeah, I'm not. Ooh, nope. Gonna give up on Roar. Yep, thank you very much. And actually, I want to check something really quick. It's just because I'm curious. Yeah, so we're going to get him up to the same level as our other Pokemon. But even after that, um, a Dano, Dino, whatever, however you're supposed to pronounce it, uh, still would not have evolved. Even once. It evolves at level 50. So, you know, that's kind of silly. Crunch, 8100 versus 6100, lower defense versus flinch. I'm going to take Crunch over Bite. Am keeping Tri Attack for now, unless we get something far better. Because Tri Attack, very, very good. Ooh, Slam. What does Slam do? I don't remember. Uh. Okay, yeah, we're going to keep uh, Tri Attack there. Okay. 30, almost. Six levels to go. Ooh, Dragon Pulse, let's see. Gonna keep Dragon Breath or no? 85, 100, 60, 100, yep. Level 33, 34, 35, and finally 36. So now, uh, we're done with all the rare candies for him. And now we can hopefully get an accurate guess of his IVs. Uh, is this useful at all? Not really. Uh, is it fun? Absolutely. Go add a level, and this will be level 36. Uh, okay, 115 HP, 89, 69, 105, 78, and 79. Lovely. So, HP is either 8, 9, or 10. Attack is either 24, 25, or 26. Defense is 20, 21, or 22. Special attack is guaranteed a 29. Special defense is either 4, 5, or 6. And speed is 10, 11, or 12. So none of them are insanely outrageous, but considering a nearly 30 special attack out of 31, I think he's doing pretty darn good. Either way, now that we've fully hatched Spyro and leveled him up, I think that's going to have to be it for today. I've enjoyed today, I hope you all have too. If you have, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.